I'm not as good as you because I don't have my own series where I'm introducing the world to what it's like to be in my brain. What is, who, who convinced you to do this and why did you want to? I know, what an idea. <laughs> How'd they talk me into this? What's the matter with me? Those are the questions <laughs> that we try to answer on this series. Well, you know, I, it was National Geographic. They are tippity top notch. They are eighth degree black belt master documentarians. And so I love documentaries too, by the way. Don't you? Yeah. I do too. Yeah, I like to learn. You know what I saw the other day? I saw that documentary. I downloaded that uh, um, Aretha Franklin documentary. Did you see that? I haven't seen it yet. Amazing Grace. And I've heard amazing things. I was actually at her funeral. It was what? I was at her funeral. You were at her funeral? I met her. I met her on one occasion. Fantastic. I went up to her. I said, Ms. Franklin, I love you so much. I've loved you my whole life. She was like, she was very nice, you know. But wow, oh my God. Wait till you see this thing. You're going to go crazy. Anyway, I love documentaries. They are doing it. Disney streaming plus, yes. new, new, new for everybody, but I think that's going to be great. And um, November 12th, it comes out. There are 12 episodes on, you know, once a week. So three, three months of me and my world, according to me. And, uh, and each week we take you on a, a little journey of learning and interest and whimsy and, uh, and um, song, uh, possibly. Uh, I was going to ask. I was going to ask if there was song because we always love to hear you sing and your album and jazz. I sing every chance I can. <laughs> so I sing a lot. They probably cut it all out of the show, but I bother them. I pester the editors and sing every single chance I got the drop of a hat. But, hey, I have a new album coming out November 1st. Uh, on DECA, I'm excited about that. Wait till you hear that. I can't tell you the title. I can't tell you the special guest artists, honest, but it's going to be good. Anyway, this thing comes out, and, but I like this show. I like this show a lot. I've been, it's creative for me, and I like what I get to do on it. And they send me all over, all over the country. We talk about ice cream one week and denim the next and tattoos and da da da. But it's me. Do, you know, finding out things and being loose and having fun. And so it's, uh, I, I, I like it a lot. So, yeah. Do you have a theme song for the show and do you by chance sing it? No, but I would. I could sing it right now. Give me a... Jeff Goldblum, Jeff Goldblum, he loves people, he loves Nat Geo people on Disney Plus. Hey. Oh, was, I mean, I feel like they've got to pay you for that. I can't pay you for that, but they can. I'm not looking for money. I'm doing this for love at this point. Well, you're also expanding, speaking of love, you're expanding your Disney footprint, possibly, into Thor Love and Thunder. Is that happening? What can... Well... My footprint, <laughs> Love and Thunder, Thor, Ragnarok. I played the Grandmaster in the last one. I love those Marvel people, Kevin Feige and Luis Esposito and Victoria Alonso. They know how to make a movie. They're very creative and very brilliant and very kind. But Taika Waititi directed the last one. He's going to direct this next one. Yep. I want to do anything with Taika Waititi. Anything. <laughs> Speaking of Kevin, we're, we're talking about Kevin in the MCU a lot right now in the news, keeping him with Spider-Man. Why, why do you think Spider-Man is such an important part of the MCU? Because there may be a little divorce happening. No. This is the first I've heard of it. Save Spider-Man? Uh, I'm crestfallen. S -s 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 Save. What's happening? I didn't know any of this. So Sony and Marvel are having a hard time coming to terms on the agreement to co-produce Spider-Man. So it's looking like Spider-Man may go back to Sony and not be part of the MCU anymore. I'm not a business person. You're speaking. Whatever you say is Greek to me. But all these, the mountains of Broduchore and the, and the, I don't know. It'll all work out, I'm sure. Good luck. I'll figure it out. And then maybe more Jurassic World for the third? Uh, I can't say anything, but I can't say anything. I can't say it. But you want to. It's okay. We'll, we'll talk about it later. I want you very badly. I'm torn. <laughs> I'm of two minds. I have to let you go because I know you have to get back on stage. I, stage? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I call it Mother oh, Stage. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I have one more question for you. Who's uh, your favorite Disney princess? Not me. Besides you? Let me see. Well, I do like uh, 
part of their world. What are those things called? Oh yeah, feet. I want to be part of their world. Can we get you as part of the live action film? I want to be very much. That was my audition. I think I'm right for it. Which role? That role. Oh, for Ariel. I want to be sorry, Ariel. Sorry to be cast. I, I hate to break it to you. Pa who's playing that part? The sweet Halle Bailey, who is... Halle Berry. I love her. Not she was wonderful in Monsters Ball. But why would... I not, guess not she's... Not Barry right Bailey. She's a younger Halle, but she is the first black uh, woman to play Ariel. I salute her. I sit at her feet. I wash her feet. I drink the water she bathes her feet in. Uh, I went too far. I'm yeah, sorry. I, ap like I apologize, Halle Berry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. We'll get you in the movie in another part. It'll be great. You ever drink one of those Bailey's, Bailey creams? Mm hmm. Mm. We could get me one of those right now. Why don't we just go do that? Instead? I wish I had a, had a nice Bailey's or a, or a Pim's cup yes. right now. You're the, you're, the, you're the star here. I think you can ask for that. I'm nothing. I'm a humble student. Thank you so much, Jeff. Nice to see you. So nice to I see appreciate you. appreciate it. Oh, <laughs>